Hi guys, welcome to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are playing a game that's pretty old, part of our new series, where we're going to be trying some of the older games, some of the older Total War games, and seeing whether they still hold up in 2021. Um, a long time after this one came out, especially, I think this came out in 2004, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it's 2004. And we're just going to be playing on hard, we're going to be just having a chill time, having a good time, and we're going to be playing... Julii, because that's probably the nation that everyone likes to play. Everyone liked to play back in the day. Um, and we're going to be seeing whether this game still is fun. And spoiler alert, it is very fun. So we're going to be playing um, Julii, and let's get going. Gods. I hate Gauls. My grandfather hated them too even before they put out his eyes. Did you think I'd be out here on the frontier without good reason? Yes, Rome needs a strong frontier. No, Rome doesn't need unwashed barbarians at her gates. So, that's why I'm here, the leader of the Julii, to bring Roman order to stinking Gauls. Revenge? That'd be good too. This war against the Gauls won't last long. And when it's done, I've got plans. This is all about power. Power in Rome. Going down that road means dealing with all my rivals. The Senate. The Greeks. Those Carthaginian elephant riders. The Scipii and the Brutii families too. After all, the man who controls Rome rules the world. the world and one day I will be Emperor pretty epic if you ask me that like that is just such a nostalgic entrance to a game I haven't really seen um, a game that has such a nostalgic entrance for me anyway because I used to play this an absolute ton um, so I'm gonna just go over the strategy slightly uh, just before we get going fully. So the Scipii, they're going to come down here and take Carthage. They will probably be pretty slow about it, hopefully anyway. Now the Brutii can move quicker. I'm just hoping the Senate give them a mission to take Salona over here. And what we're going to do, so normally what you would do with the Julii, you take Batavium, you take Medo Medolianium, and you come through here, then you just fight the Gauls. Kill the Gauls, kill the Germans. Maybe go kill the Bretons, um, and you see, you see what happens, and then you end up with an empire that's all of this land. But it turns out that this land is pretty shit, like really, really shit, like pretty terrible. Like there's a lot of towns, there's a few large towns, hard to find cities, especially early on in the game. So we're kind of going to go against our epic in intro. And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna take Northern Italy. That's, that's a given. And uh, we're probably just gonna put a few forts in, uh, in these places where the Gauls will wanna come through. And we're gonna take that army and march down to Northern Macedonia. Now, hopefully we get there after the plague, but the plague does last a long time. But we're just gonna march down and hopefully take Macedonia. Two reasons. A uh, statue of Zeus at Olympia is amazing. Gives you plus four bonus to population loyalty. And this land here, and here, and eventually Egypt, is infinitely better than all this, you know, sort of barbarian land. Especially in this game. So we're going to be doing that. And see how it happens. See way. what happens. See how it goes and uh, we don't need the spy in Suggesta so we'll probably come straight from Suggesta up to Medio, Mediolanium, Mediolanium, Sir. it's quite hard to say that. Uh, now Emerging Flavius army. Julius is pretty Prepare old however he is a good commander. See this game, this game is just so nostalgic like the retinues, the command, the management, the influence and I love uh, some of the descriptions do we have anyone here with zero influence? Because it's pretty funny. Okay, so this guy, what's his name? 
Quintus has no influence. Influence. A stuffed olive has more influence than this man. It could choke someone important and change history. This man should not be interested with running a shrimp store, let alone anything important. So, there's a bit of humour within the game as well, which is great, in my opinion, anyway. So, let's do our buildings and then we'll get straight into that first battle. So, Aretium, you are the capital. We want population growth, so I'm going to go for that. Ariminium? Uh, Do we take population growth here as well? Maybe not. We'll, we'll take a fort, uh, a port probably here and get that nicely going. Get our trade up because money might be a tiny bit of an issue until we've taken Medleonium and Potavium. So they only have two units here. We don't have any Attack! Besieging settlement, sir. mercenaries we can recruit, so we might as well just, just get straight into it. Now, Okay, we want to run our general into... So our general gets free retraining. So let's just skirmish with these guys and send our general in. Yep, he's a good general. Uh, I should have probably left him out and brought Vibius in straight away. And left him to the side just to get Vibius up and going. Because Vibius is going to be with us a lot longer. But it's not a huge issue. And we should be able to win this pretty easily. Now, we're going to just be playing the battles. Just for fun. Rebellious slaves may think of victory, but we should make them think kindly of their master's whips. They are dead men. Brave Romans, prepare to defend yourselves! Well, that was a short, uh, short general's speech. Definitely, normally they are a lot longer than that. So, probably just because we're fighting literally nobody. Now, let's get this organised. See, the one thing about this game that doesn't hold up is the UI and how you use it. Also, I need to keybind WASD, which is not keybound yet, but we'll keybind it at some point. We'll probably send. Send the general around here. Now, I don't want to run him straight into spears, so we're going to try and take down as many spears as we can with all our range. We'll leave the Triaria over here, so if they send their spears over this way, we uh, will send the Triaria against them, and the Triaria will destroy the um, what are they barbarian spears, I think. So what are those? Are they the peasants or are they the spears? They're the spears. These are the peasants. I should probably run the uh, missile troops. Well, we don't want to use flaming arrows because it literally reduces their damage. I mean, we could just run our general in, but we only need to route these guys as well. We don't need to you know, wipe them out because it's a settlement. They'll all get automatically wiped out. So we probably just whittle them down until there's very few of them left. And then we just charge our general. And hope they don't die. I mean, I, I literally have seen generals die from uh, charging peasants before because they're, all their hit points are gone. So, you know, that's not ideal <laughs> if, you, if your general dies to peasants. But... Yeah, that shouldn't be the case, hopefully. Touch wood. Watch it happen now. They're probably going to chase after our militates. But... Should be okay. Send them, uh, send them forward. I don't know how close they have to be. They have to be pretty close, don't they? They're kind of like the, uh, the Napoleon skirmishes. Okay, we got them. Throw one volley. Leave. Charging. Get out of there, Mr. Velites. Out. 
See, they're doing the dance, so we might as well put one of our units up here. They're gonna run their general into our tree area, I think. Don't even want them to throw their javelins, Issa Starty. We just want them to stand in the way of the peasants while we whittle them down. Can the archers? Yeah, fire on these guys. The Velotes over here should just be throwing their javelins. So, yeah, the arrows are coming into these guys now. So not the uh, not the most exciting tactics in the world, but. definitely the most efficient and we want to stay efficient this campaign if we're gonna if we're gonna move quick enough to get down into Greece then we want to stay pretty efficient but when they get around here we'll charge our cavalry in the peasants and bring some Hastati in to fight the warband Start firing on these guys again. Very nice, our uh, general's bodyguard. Don't think we've lost any troops. I'm surprised they've not routed yet. They're down to ten. Right, get out of there, general. Just hoping he doesn't get caught. Okay, he's in the middle. Oh, go up, go, 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 go. Yep, perfect. Now they're starting. are starting to pile on the pain for the uh, warband. Let's bring the triaria in. As well, I don't think they're hard to uh, replenish. You guys come out here if you can. Uh, that's the only that's that's the one other thing about this game that's kind of a bit janky. Apart from the UI, is the uh, like the unit movement within settlements. Even this settlement, like they're struggling to, to know where to go. I mean, Empire has probably the worst unit movement settlements but you don't really get many settlements you get forts so however in this game you know you get the full settlement okay we should be destroying these guys now i'm surprised they're not routing still it's just because they're dying so quickly there's their, their general so these couple of units didn't get any xp might have got xp on our uh, Okay, so we lost 18. Did we heal anyone? We've got four Bellates healed. Has he sustained six? You know, 12 on some of the Stati. Roman General, two. We lost two of, uh, I think, is that um, Flavius or Quintus? Victory! So we take Suggester and we want, to ex we want to enslave 100% because get this uh, slavery 0.5% bonus which is actually pretty excellent now can we keep on moving like okay we have yeah we don't have much orders, movement speed so Vibius you're 28 we want you to become the real uh, the real commander here because Flavius is old however we'll, we'll have a couple of people coming of age pretty soon so we'll stick those two units in there and we'll spread. I mean, we don't really need this town much, but might as well take it. Do we now? Do we general stack? So, in case you don't know, like when you enslave settlements, it mainly gets distributed to the places where you have governors. So, if we just put Quintus in here. When we enslave, it should literally just go to Aretium. Now, we might not want to keep him in here forever. And Quintus could actually become a good general. Uh, the Senate might ask me to take Carolus at some point. I'm not too bothered about taking it, but we'll recruit a few more units uh, just in case. And I think that's the first turn done. Maybe our diplomat? We'll send you around to Salona, see if we can get a bribe early on. 
and the spy. Yes, master. Yeah, we'll Searching probably enter Medio on him. Okay, Gaul wants to trade. I mean, for one turn we'll get a bit of extra money. Now, do we care about our family name? I don't think we do in this campaign. We're just going to take who we need, and we're not going to take him because he's got nothing apart from good defender. Which is not... Okay, there's the Senate asking us to take Carolus. Like, we could do that. We could go and take Carolus and potentially Carthage. So the Scipio will be a bit more um, hampered in their in their efforts. However, it's not really you know the plan because we'll have an we'll have an army coming down this way when we want to send all our armies east uh, down towards Maybe Greece. Around 100% chance of success of entering here. We'll take the walls just because of the Gauls that are everywhere. And can we recruit peasants? No. However, we can send a town watch down into here. You have Hastati. I think we'll just recruit the Hastati. Yeah, let's have a look at our end turn report. So, yeah, okay. Not looking too bad. Um, and we'll take this army up towards Medianium. Stick a watchtower. Should just see if there's any full stacks coming through here. Sometimes they just send like a pretty big stack down through the Alps here. Um, and we'll get onto that river crossing. They, they literally only have their faction air in here, which would be nice to kill him. Um, and then they've got a faction member here with some barbarian cavalry and warband. See, the cavalry is a bit annoying, bit of an issue. We only have our two, but we have our two um, generals. So, you know, the general Roman cavalry is pretty strong, general. especially early on. They got a 12 attack, 6 charge bonus, and 15 defense, which is pretty good for early game. Uh, I wonder how different it is for the Barbarian. Okay, we can't see it yet, just because we haven't fought them, I suppose. Hmm. Um, and is that all we're building? Yep. Yeah. Seems about right. Nice. In terms of the Senate in this campaign, we are not going to care what they think of us. We only care, really, what the people think, because we're the Julia. Of course, we've got to, we've got to, be, we've got to be doing that, and we will eventually, probably, march across um, the Rubicon and take Rome. So, uh, Rimini, um, <laughs> these these names <laughs> always pretty hard to say. So, Ariminium, we got a port, so we should be making a bit more money here. Do we still want population growth? I think we do, so get a trader. That's our next one. Um, that's still building. And then in Suggester, let's have a look. What does, whoops. It doesn't seem to add anything, this road. So, potentially a trader or land clearance. I think we do land clearance get that extra population growth because Suggester honestly takes ages, like literally ages, um, to build up. So we're still recruiting Hastati, let's make sure we're recruiting more because we could, I think we will go and take Carolus then. If we get about five Hastati That'll be an easy battle, and depending on our monetary situation and whether we can see Carthage, it might be worth just popping down to Carthage to have a look. I can. Now, our navy, the worst thing about around here is definitely the rebel navies, so we don't want to be dealing with that. So it's risky taking him here, but you know, it might be worth it. Uh, let's have a look. This is probably going to be a draw out battle. Maybe not because they're in ambush mode. Okay, they've swapped over their commanders. They just have Warband. 
which are easy, should be easy for our starting to defend. God, they're, they're pretty disorganized. I need to disorganize them or something. Engage the enemy. We're going to attack them. Okay. They retreated. It's a good sign for us. Uh, we should be able to take the take it next turn. So Aretium, yeah, everywhere's building. Sieging Medio Lanium. Said it right that time. And we'll end the turn. Hmm. Let's not do that. Engage the enemy! The gates are open as well. Let's have a look at what we're facing here. So Lugatorix, so it's a 27 general. They do have some more cavalry. You know what we might want to do is if we bring all our, for all our forces to the left, we could probably take out these guys straight away and then potentially wrap around and fight these guys and then go into the capital. So let's do that. If we can. While uh, our cavalry and it, and it, and it, we don't need to send everyone actually. So we'll send the cavalry and we'll send a couple of Astarte. And then the rest of the army can get st started. Today we on, go into battle against the uh, goal. Just listen to this. Warriors both worthy and brave in equal measure. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. There is no advantage in numbers to either side. Therefore, skill and courage will be the keys to this day's battle. Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves. We are the greater warriors. They are strong in cavalry, and this will require inventive thought today, as we lack enough spearmen to counter them. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. Now I say, this far and no further. Here we make a stand. You all know my worth and what I have done before. Of the foes who attacked me in the past, few ever got to boast of their success. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their blood. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all! Wow. He likes blood, apparently. So we had a little crash in the uh, during the battle, so we're just gonna have to redo it all again, which is fine. Um, so let's. It's gotta be Velate still taking the Rams. So get abilities onto. We have the gates open, but we just want to get a bit more room. It also kind of screws up the AIs uh, in terms of what they what they want to do um, how, and how they do it. So pretty good. So we're going to do the same as we did last time before it crashed. We're going to take our general unit and two of the Hastati to try and kill the reinforcing armies and we're going to stick the rest of the troops over here ready to fight we're going to keep the triarii over here in case the general the enemy general does come does come through and we're going to have the archers peppering them down so get the archers over here the enemy have brought get that starty fight. getty hole in the wall and Velites as well. We're going to bring these guys forward because there isn't much threat from the towers. I'm going to bring them forward to about here. Uh, okay, they're going to walk, and we're going to bring the Triarii forward as well. So as soon as the uh, the archers start firing, they might um, bring the the unit out. Okay, generals, bodyguards, we're going to come up to here. I'm going to send the Hastati in against these guys. Against the warband. You just kind of need to break them, really. It should be hard. I'm going to bring our general into the back of these troops. 
You guys don't fire. Just chase after them. The enemy show their true virtue. They should be going back to the doorway. Rabbits running from our okay, men. are they coming out of the doorway? No, the archers are managing to fire just quite yet. So that's that. Those, uh, those guys dealt with. One of their generals is dead. Brilliant. The enemy our soldiers are at the walls! We'll bring these to start down here. Way through. What are they doing? This war band. Because if they want to, uh, you know, have a go, we've got two of starting units here. And they're running back inside. So they're getting peppered by our archers and... while well, they're running back inside. Let's bring these. These guys don't need to be in a group anymore. Um, let's organise them. Cavalry at the end. Starty together. And we are, we are. There we are. Bring these generals through here. Uh, in terms of this unit, uh, it's literally. Is that the slingers? I know it's like. It's, slingers, it's another slinger and warband. What's well, in the settlement? They have the general. That's uh, is that the general? No, that's just normal cavalry. So the general no is the actual only the enemy thing we need to worry down. about. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. We'll just take our time. Uh, be efficient. So we want three Hastati on the front line. Are they here? Bring Triarii in first. They can run. And the archers and the Bellates. You're getting shot by the tower now. These guys can walk inside and we'll bring our general in as well. It's gonna be a bit of a clusterfuck, but our soldiers have captured okay. the walls! Like now is the time to press on resistance. and capture this place! Yeah, these are starting are the ones that are running forward. You guys run as well? Let's just attack these guys while we can. Looks like they're bringing their general down, so we might want to bring our general in as quick as possible. They, okay, they're running now. Let's just get in position. Bring the Chiranga into the middle here. Yeah, it looks like they, they are running. Okay, no, they're bringing, they're coming back. Bring the Triario around the flanks. Ah, that warband has just has such bad morale. Yeah, this is kind of what I wanted to avoid by breaking down the walls. Nah, it doesn't matter. Turn you off for skirmish mode. Okay, come back. We'll march our guys up a bit more. Bit further forward. Triaria, you stay to this side because it's likely that's where you can be used. And we'll just get our archers to shoot them down a little bit. If we're in range. So, which ones are here? There's a few two. Starty. Behind here. It looks like they're just going all the way up to the top. Melites. Got a nice little formation here. Shame if we moved it. <laughs> I mean, it's just such open areas here as well, so not really much of an issue. I will bring this to starting around the side. Okay, looks like they're not going to engage. Okay, yes, they are going to engage. You guys sandwich them in. Bring the Triarii. Even out that way. Okay. The general. You guys are tight. Okay, we've used all our ammunition on these front guys now. Can I probably destroy this. Seven. Yeah. Right. Now let's get out. These are the depleted ones. Triarii up here. 
Uh, we'll bring the general around to this side. What is, what is this? This is warband and slingers, or javelin, javelin men, or whatever they're called. So, not a huge worry. I think our archers are just going to have to fire over this building. Which would be too much of a worry for them. You're quite far behind. You're probably part of the other group, aren't you? For the first little army. These guys can't decide what they want to do. They're too scared to come in this way now, so they're going to go the whole way around the back, so it should give us plenty of time to kill all of these guys in the centre. Stick the Triarii at the front, actually. We'll keep the second line of Hastati behind, because they have their javelins which we can start firing at anyone as they come, as they charge into our troops. Surprised that you not, you should be able to, yeah. Okay, Barbarian Cavalry now, Barbarian Warlord. Yep, yeah, you're going to start firing now. That might make them charge, which would be good for us. We're going to get our generals around this side to flank. Oh, no. Okay, then. Are they going to charge? Please do. We'll charge the Triaria into them. The spears will be needed because they will just shred our starty otherwise. Okay, while we're killing that, that warlord, let's come around here and see whether we can flank these guys. They're only barbarian cavalry and. Is that it? So there should be a warband. Yeah, there's a warband in there as well, but we have plenty of casualties. Not too worried about this. Maybe one set of javelins. Okay, the general's gonna. Uh, Triaria, you can come back. Right, let's start it. Let's get going forward. Oh, they're going to charge again, are they? Okay, that's fine. Get these guys in there. As long as our Triaria, okay. this warband should get should get instant routed when we charge them. But they're in the town centre. Okay, it's getting messy now. We're bringing that general through, aren't we? So, okay, they're starting routing again. Two, the warlord only has two. Okay, get these guys out of there because they're spears. We don't want to deal with the spears. Kill the enemy general. Brilliant. Gods be praised. The enemy general is killed. Fear makes a home in our enemy's Just hearts. charge. We'll just blob charge them and then charge them from the back. The classic hammer and anvil. It's just so strong in this game. These barbarian guns should be in the middle of the place. Right, let's charge through. Carry on, carry on. They might not get a charge off at that distance, but we're going to surround them anyway. While we're doing this, let's bring in you guys. You can run. Bring the two missiles. be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee! We don't want to be charging straight into the warband, so we'll stay here. Infantry. You guys can form up. I kind of prefer though, like, you guys come back here. We'll use the, we'll use the ones that have a peeler left. Sprint through there. And they have javelins, so we've got to be careful with our cavalry. We don't want them to be firing any javelins at our, our generals. The archers are backfiring now. They don't know what to do. I'm surprised they've not retreated. Again, get away from this, it's kind of a bit messy on the dais up here. Right, are we in uh, range? Perfect. 
Let's so chuck our, all our people at them and we'll smash them with the cavalry. Okay, the, the warbands are all, like the skirmisher warbands are already dead. Charge these guys into the warband. The enemy show Let's continue because these guys, they are uh, not soldiers, this only army, frightened rabbits running from our men. Stop firing. Uh, what's going on with this? These guys are were an actual army outside the city, so they weren't automatically get destroyed. I mean, they should be destroyed by now. Yeah, 99%. But I don't know what my cavalry is doing here. See, like the unit movement inside city is a one thing about the game. Bit messy. I mean, it is very oh, old. So we'll be not amazed really. at such a victory. The day is ours. See how many we lost. We did lose a few, mainly in that charge against the warlord. Yeah. Less than 100 where it killed 700, so that's fine. Casualty sustain is 35. Not many heals. Um, so this has started inflicted 110 casualties. I wonder whether that was the first one at the start when we. Um, 69. Uh, when we fought the, the first reinforcing army. Could have been them when they ran through them to try and escape into the city. Victory! So we take Medley Iarium, if I can say it, and we'll enslave them just to keep that population growth going. It is a large town, so that is nice. And we're probably going to have to worry about law. So let's have a look at our temples. Law is good because it reduces corruption, right? So Jupiter is the one that gives law. Ceres gives population growth and Bacchus so none of our none of our temples give us um, armor or weapon rating which is kind of frustrating because the Scipio ones give you lovely armor and weapon rating bonuses to one of them um, we don't want that population growth probably here because it's going to be a huge city like these two Patavium and um, Mediolanium <laughs> still trying to say it right <laughs> they grow really quickly actually um, it's kind of strange I think it's a lot to do with the amount of enslavement you, enslavement you do in the area so it seems like Jupiter with that 20% law is the temple we want to go for so let's go for that Jupiter there we are Let's recruit some peasants and let's just go straight on to Patavium after this turn. At your service, searching for news. There we are. So they have a general and some warband, so it should not be an issue. I'm just worried if we leave this, will there be people in the area? Don't want to recruit from there. Uh, we also have to construct a retium. So what do we want here? I mean, the trader gives population growth, so probably that. We also want to have our barracks kind of ready for when we become a huge city, ready so we can sail. instantly start recruiting urban cohorts. They are very OP, but you know, what else are you going to recruit when you roam? You gotta recruit their OP units, otherwise no You're point. Uh, let's go see whether we can bribe Salona. Maybe Move this blue stuff up here as well. But I think that's all we have time for for this first episode, guys. Please do let me know whether you like this idea, whether you like um, the old style uh, videos, so the old style games, so Rome Total War, you know, Empire Total War, Napoleon, Medieval 2. Um, and we'll keep we'll keep this series going. And please do remember to subscribe, subscribe, like, and follow me on Twitch, where you can catch plenty of my gaming live. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you again in the next video.